Now, as football clubs from across the globe are battle it out for the world's first football club World Cup title, currently being held in the US, so China has just showcased a very different kind of football player, one that is powered by artificial intelligence. In fact, China recently hosted the world's first football match between humanoid robots. The match was divided into two 10-minute halves with a five-minute break in between. Four teams of humanoid robots uh, faced off in a fully autonomous three-on-three football match that was powered entirely by artificial intelligence with absolutely no human intervention or supervision. This competition is not only a domestic first, but also a window to bring robots closer to the general public and real-life scenarios. We hope this new format can foster cross-disciplinary exchange and inspire more technological innovation and enthusiasm. Not only were the robots uh, able to track the ball and move around the field effortlessly, uh, they also demonstrated real-time decision-making, coordinated teamwork and the ability to self-recover after falling. In the future, we may arrange for robots to play football with humans. That means we must ensure the robots are completely safe. For example, a robot and a human could play a match where winning doesn't matter but real offensive and defensive interactions take place. That would help audiences build trust and understand that robots are safe. In fact, China has been investing heavily in robotics. Uh, according to 2025 report by Morgan Stanley, China's robotics market is expected to double by 2028, reaching $108 billion, up from the current $47 billion valuation. And it looks like sports is emerging as a significant frontier in China's bull robotics advancements. China is all set to host the 2025 World Humanoid Robot Sports in the month of August, the first global sporting event dedicated exclusively to humanoid robots.